Hi people, me again of course as always under as usual, Moino Wavenberg. I'll be quickly covering uh, the ten Goerek spirit of the Goetia, which is Buer, B-U-E-R. Um, I wrote an article about him lifetimes ago, years ago, back in 2018. So let's get started. Um, Buer's description states, the ten spirit is Buer, a great president. He appeared in Sagittarius, and there is his shape when the sun is there. He, teach it, he teaches philosophy, both moral and natural, and the logic, art, and also the virtues of all herbs and plants. He healed all distempers in man and gave it good familiars. He governed 50 legions of, of spirits, and his character of obedience is this, etc., etc. Um, yeah, consult the article linked in the description of this video. Um, the same article that I'm reading from to um, see his appearance and whatnot in terms of as related to Kuwaitia and so on and so forth. Uh, let me continue reading. Buer told me that his Leo with cartwheel for pause appearance is not his true shape and he takes that on due to the fact that he's mistakenly identified with the sun. He favors the sun but is traditionally mercurial, corresponds to 20 degrees in Gemini and showed me his true form which is that of an orc-like being with a spear so hence the knowledge of herbs and so on too. A reference to Mercury. Mercury also has healing potential, duh. Lastly, he told me that he's an ex-order of Angels member and prefers his seal always to be used in working with him. And the Archangel Zapkiel also told me that Buer partly falls under him. So yeah, uh, for starters, the article speaks for itself. Um, Ten Spirit from the Kuwaitia Buer. Um, I did briefly uh, check through my own research what the reason is that they mistakenly identified him with Sagittarius and it was simply uh, regarding the form of divination that they used or similar, an error that they made and Sagittarius came up and they thought that okay that means that he is Sagittarian and that um, since the sun, sun is strong in Sagittarius that that's also um, what he deals with and whatnot. Again, it's just a miscalculation on their part and, and um, the creator and or editor of the Goetia or the person that um, provided the aforementioned with, uh, with viewer and, and his respective knowledge and specialties. Now, for all the things mentioned uh, in the Goetia, the teaching philosophy and, and whatnot, healing people and so on and so on, he, all of that stuff, he can do all of that stuff since he's mercurial, corresponds to Gemini, but of course the sun also rules um, air, including Gemini, air signs, including Gemini from a uh, elemental, from an elemental perspective. Um, regardless, he can be, these things, all of the things that uh, are attributed to him in the Kuwaitia, he can do those things, but not as a specialty. I repeat, not as a specialty. He can help you out and all of that stuff, but it's not a specialty. None of this, this stuff, honestly. Teaching philosophy, moral, logic, art, the virtues of all herbs and plants. He let all distempers in man and gives good familiars. Yeah, when I um, spoke to him earlier, I saw good familiars and whatnot. Uh, they appeal all, all like Casper looking individuals. It reminds me of Klonek, honestly. Um, Klonek was also ex Order of Angels. In any case, um, yeah, all of the things that are written there, he can do all of those things for you, but only at a mundane level or at mundane levels. In order to obtain tremendous results, you really have to go the extra 21 miles with him in a manner of speaking. Um, and uh, once again, no connection to Sagittarius or anything like that. He's Mercurial, Gemini. Um, being able to heal people, you name it. Um, and again, the cartwheel form, the, the creature with a, a lion's face in the middle and then surrounded by paws, uh, like uh, like ro rolling around like a cartwheel, is, is just because he was mistakenly identified, like I said. His true appearance is just that of an orc, quote unquote, just that of an orc. Just a green orc, typical green orc you would see in the movie like The Lord of the Rings and whatnot with a spear, holding, in, uh, with, uh, holding a spear in his hand. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I um, was going to mention. Um, Yeah, so that's where the whole thing comes into play. They got the attributes. They got the attributes from the sun, specifically healing and uh, teaching the virtues of herbs and plants and stuff like that. They got that from from 
essentially from Sagittarius, specifically dealing with high level knowledge and whatnot. And um, it turned into some kind of mixture where they were like, hey, listen, the sun can heal people. So all things related to the sun, providing the knowledge of things, elements in nature or, or that or that man can obtain that can heal people belongs unto them. So I see where they got all of that stuff from. Um, in a manner of speaking, by coincidence, they were right. But again, like I said for the last time, he can do all of these things, but at mundane levels, that's what Gemini stands for by default. That is all. Bye-bye.